Okay, this is the first assignment that we're going to do. This is, uh, I call this the pen tool animals assignment. Um, I got this picture, full disclosure, I got this picture off of uh, Reddit. Oh gosh, three years ago, I guess. Um, but it's worked really well for me to uh, just kind of introduce the concept of the pen tool. Um, and, and it kind of, it's an easy way to kind of learn how to use this these tracing options uh, to be able to do this. So. Um, the way I've got this file set up, I'm going to zoom in on it here. If you didn't see it from my last video, the way I'm zooming in right now, if I can get control of it, there we go, is to hold down Alt and scroll. Um, the nice thing about that is I can, if I'm holding Alt and I scroll down, I zoom out. And when I zoom in, it will zoom in like I've got my mouse on the gorilla right now. And it zooms in on that gorilla. Okay. Um, so the reason I have two things here. Um, one of these is locked and the other one is not. One of these I've changed the opacity on just to make it easier to draw. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I was over here and I wanted to try and trace this out, um, and first I need to show you about the color scheme on this. Uh, let's see. Okay, so what I want to do first is I actually want to change my color. So let me make this be black on the stroke and nothing on the inside so it's none the white background with the red slash means none okay so now when I start drawing I've got my pen tool selected when I start drawing it can be kinda of hard to see what I'm drawing now I could go back and change the color of my pen to be something different but I'm just showing you the reason uh, why I've got it uh, change the opacity on it. so I've got my line and right now you can kind of barely see that especially when I hover over it you can see that the the lines there so what I've done on this other piece is I uh, went up here had the object selected and you go up here to opacity and I changed it okay so you can see how much easier it is to see the line there okay so I'm hitting spacebar just to go over to this other one let me do the gorilla okay alright so uh, let me scroll over I'm holding spacebar and sliding to the side right here I just want to introduce you to the concept of the pen tool. Okay, so if I click the pen tool here, and if you don't have your pen tool, it might be one of these other options. Um, you can always just hit P, P to bring up the pen tool. Um, these are to go back and make changes to it afterwards, but we're going to just do the pen tool here. So if I just click, this gives me an anchor point, okay, and I just click and let go. One of the biggest mistakes a lot of students make, I'm going to do Control Z here. One of the biggest mistakes that students make is they try to create a line with this first click. And so they click and they drag out. And we're going to use these in a minute, but these are creating handles. okay? Um, and so I'll show you what they do in just a second. But the main thing I want you to learn, for most of these, what you're going to do is just do click and let go. okay? And that gives me my anchor point right there, just one little dot. So if I click again, click and let go, it gives me a straight line. Let me go back. Sorry, I'm going to go back and I need to add the black to it. Okay, so I can tell from this right here, I've got none here and I've got black on my stroke. I'll go back to my pen tool and now it gives me a straight line and I can actually see what I'm doing. So make sure if you're having a problem with your colors uh, in any variety, go and make sure that this is set to the right thing. So click, click and let go and that gives me straight lines and I can make whatever kind of shape that I want. All right now for these animals though we need some to have some curves in it we need to add some curves to our lines so I'm gonna start a new line I just did that by clicking the pen tool uh, so this first click I'm just gonna click and click and let go and then I go to where I want my next point to be and I'm gonna click and drag out okay so I'm still I haven't let go of the mouse yet I'm dragging out and this gives me what's called a bezier curve okay so we've got anchor point anchor point Bezier curve, right, and these right here are the handles. Okay, and if I hover over it, you can see where it says handle. So the handles, they tell me the trajectory, right? And this this program is all about math. You don't have to do the math. Illustrator does the math for you, but it's all about math. So I've got my anchor points here, uh, and then this is my handle. So I want to, if I just click here, I'm going to click and let go. You'll see it's going to kind of follow the same curve as what I had previously. So if I just click right here it gives me kind of a similar shape. I'm going to do control Z to go back. But if I don't want that, if I had to create a really big handle in order to get that curve that I wanted, 
and I want to get rid of that, there's a couple things I can do. The easiest way to get rid of it is just to go back to your anchor point and click, and it drops your handle. And now I'm back to, I'm going to click in that same spot there I was, and that gives me a straight line now. Okay. So anyway, click and let go, click and drag, go back and drop the anchor, go, go back and drop the handle. Okay. Those are the, the three main things that I just demonstrated right there. And honestly, those are the three main things you need to know to be able to do this assignment. Go back over to our gorilla here. So I'm going to go back to the pen tool, start a new line. So I'm just going to click and let go, click and drag out. Okay. And so now I'm actually done with that line. And so I want to start a new line because if I just go down here and click, it's going to keep going. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Click, it keeps going. Okay. Click, it keeps going. So I need to go and start a new line. So I can either just type P uh, to go to the pen tool or I can just click the pen tool again. And now I've got it where it's giving me a straight line. I mean, giving me a new line, rather. Okay, so that's good, right? And so you can see here where it's giving me that crazy line. That's not what I want. This right here is all because of this handle that's going out here. Control Z. I'm going to go back and click on my anchor point, and that drops that handle, and now I'm back to drawing this out. Okay, P, or I can go back and click the pen tool. All right, and this doesn't have to be perfect. You don't have to make this exactly right. The main thing that I'm looking for on this assignment, what I do not want you to do is to go through here and just go click, click, click. Okay, I will take off so many points for this. Okay, because in addition to being very time consuming, it will also be wrong because let me show you what that looks like when I pull this over to the side you can see how my lines that I, when I started have that nice smooth curve, okay, and then I get up here, and it's just a bunch of jagged lines, right? Um, I don't know, that's, that doesn't look too terrible because of how close they are, but when I'm, when I'm looking at it, I don't want, the whole point of this assignment is for you to learn how to use the pen tool and for you to learn how to use the Bezier curve, okay? So I'm going to go back, control Z, 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 I can just click and hold it, control, hold down Z, there we go, okay, so... I'm back to my pen tool, and I need to go back. So because of all of that stuff that I just did, it's lost where I am on the line. So what I need to do is I can just go back, click that, and add to it. Okay, And I probably could have done it another way there, but that's okay. Okay, and right here I do want a straight line. Okay, And you can either click here and drag out, Okay, and then just click and let go there. Or I could go over here and drag out. That's probably going to give me a bigger handle. I'm going to need to go back and click on that. Okay, so a lot of this is knowing where to click, right? But I don't care. Like right here, this curve is not exactly perfect. That's okay, all right? I'm looking to see that you understand how to click and drag out and do these curves. Um, the main thing... And you'll also, you'll see an improvement from your first to your last one. Okay, so there's, I forget how many there are on here. Um, usually I ask for 15. Sometimes, depending on how many I have, um, when you start in the class, I may ask for less. Okay, but you should, you, I should be able to see a progression and to see which one, like I should be able to look at it and tell which one is your last one. You don't have to do them in order, but I'm just saying you'll improve as you do these because a lot of the stuff in this program the more you do it, the better you get at it. So anyway, um, and you can go back. I was on the gorilla. You can also go back if I select all of it like that. I'm clicking and holding the mouse. And when I let go, everything I select, I mean, everything in that box will be selected. So I've got all that right now. You can also go back and change the size of your stroke. You can change the color of your stroke. You can change, <clears throat> let me switch back to black so we can see it better. You can change the variable width profile of it. So now you can see how it starts skinny and then it changes width as it goes. Okay, so maybe I like that for this one. But for this line, I want it to be more like that. Okay, so <clears throat> it just depends. Just play around with it, right? And you can also go back and now you know how to do this. Let me draw, um, you know, some other things here. I've, I've had people do like a silver back, you know, for the cow and they add, um, you know, spots to it. I've had people do, you know, it's a mouse and he's got a block of cheese, you know, or the 
fish and he's swimming with the shark you know so after you get done with these you can go back and embellish it you can go back and modify it kind of make it your own so but that's this right here is the main thing that I'm looking for uh, that you know how to do that and you know how to do the bezier curve using the pen tool okay when you get done I get a lot of people ask me let me select all these and delete when you get done so if you want to move these pieces out to be able to edit it that's why I have this object locked because when I click and drag it's not selecting this background image that's why I have it locked and then with my selection tool right right there I can click and drag and that's over to the side so you don't want to do it one piece at a time and try to make it match up because it's, it's going to be difficult to make that line up so that's why I click and drag and select all of it and there's other ways that you can add to your selection like that but that's kind of the easier way to do it uh, on this one so what I'd like to see is your final version to be all of your animals over here on the side but if you've got it on here uh, I'll still be able to modify it and look at it